Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol. In the last episode, we completed Book 10, The Triumph of Order, Lazarus Hust. Dear, dear Lazarus Hust has become Prime Minister, and he has set his party, the New Order Party, as essentially judge, jury, and executioner. If you do something that they don't like, even if it's in the privacy of your own home, you will have years taken away from you. And now that leads us into book 11, the final chapter. I am so intrigued to see how this will end. I hope it has a satisfying ending. I really hope that Lazarus gets his comeuppance because I I can't see this ending with like, oh, Lazarus becomes king and he gets an army of hot babes and he is no longer a virgin incel. Like, I, I can't see this ending with him winning, or at least I hope it doesn't end with him winning. I want him to get what's coming to him because he has... His ideal society seems like hell on earth. The slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. That is too long for me to have as the title. I'm going to have to call this episode The New Order. Oh my god. We have a whole map. Where do we where do we begin? Where do we begin? Um I'm noticing there's nothing up here. I'm going to assume that this is the king's palace in that case. Um, you know what, let's, let's start down here. Okay, Ooh, fancy. Yes, Comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrade Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organise more search parties to find the lost. Okay. So we're missing three major components of the New Order party. You know, there's Lazarus, the leader, and then his two kind of right-hand men. I... Well, hello. Blackfield Manor, that was, um... Sebastian Cloudsley, he was the Lord of Blackfield, I'm pretty sure. We have the manor, Belchester Castle, Lover's Islet, or Islet, Bellwood Crossroads, Party Camp, Cloudsley Cabin, and the Little Mermaid Inn. Hey! You know, one second. I just want to make sure that Sebastian was the Lord of Blackfield. I just want to double check. Yet, yeah, Lord of Blackfield. Flipping it. I like that callback. I love that callback. Yeah, we've we've grabbed everything here. I right. Yep, Lazarus Hust. Okay, we've got the poison that was used um I'm pretty sure these are the same bottles that were used in the oh god. Where um the one where we first saw Lazarus Hurst, where he was inducted into the cult, the, uh, the Rite of Dispute, or whatever, Walter Keane and that, um, I think it was called Jeffrey Sinclair, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the poison that was used then. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. At half eleven on May 15th, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof. Give something personal of yours... Oh, something personal of yours to give the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. I... Yep, you see... David Gorin, since his success at the Mermaid Inn, has proven to be a resourceful and discreet professional. Nicholas Maker, cowardly but dutiful, useful up to a limit. Alistair Cock, 
pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and ready to kill. Yeah, I did notice that in the, um, in the chapter where it literally was only a, a couple of episodes ago, um, they killed Augustus Valentine and framed Leopold Blanchard. James knocked everyone out, but it was Alistair who actually did the killing. James Turner, greedy and hedonistic, requires constant material motivation to cooperate. Mm. And Walter Keane, ambitious and inventive, but treacherous as many smart people are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like that pictured. What? What? Me? Oh, that. They did Walter dirty. They could have gotten a better picture of him. Okay. Aye. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Hello. This regime has to fall. It has taken everything from me. Um. Hold up, hold up. That face looks really familiar. Really familiar. The watch is ticking and shows 12.15pm. Another hard blade. 1795 May 15th so this is this is the day of that um meeting yeah at half 11 on May 15th meet me at the place where the idol was stolen so this is meet me at the mermaid inn okay And he's saying, yeah, Lazarus hasn't been back. So Lazarus went to the Mermaid Inn. And what was, what was this? 1795, May 15th. Capital Route Morning Report. At 8, a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. At 8.30, an individual in the insurrectionist uniform passes by on the new two-wheel contraption. At 10.15, two individuals in insurrectionist uniforms pass on horses. We know that James and Alistair went out together to look for Lazarus, so I would assume this is, this is James and Alistair. By two wheel contraption, I would assume they mean a bicycle? I can't see Lazarus going out in a bicycle. I think it's far more likely that he'd leave in a carriage. You look really familiar to me. I want to see something. I want to see. Because that is a... That pocket watch looks somewhat familiar. Where was it? There. And it... What was your name? Maurice? It was Maurice something. Maurice Evans? Yeah, Maurice Evans! Older? Definitely older? I was gonna say Maurice never got his pocket watch back. Willard had it. And Willard had it after his death. But he got the pocket watch from his mother. As a musician, Maurice would have... He would have faced harsh harsh repercussions from the new order i i think this lady is talking about her son i think this is maurice's mother she gave him a matching pocket watch potentially this is his knife because like like i said the the new order party did not like musicians and they were also going back like oh years ago this person you know had a party 
and there was a bunch of wine so I could see them going oh years ago he had a series of gigs at a pub and they're all classified as individual incidents I bet they've killed Maurice they've killed Maurice because he was a musician and this is his mom that is if I'm right there because here's the thing technically speaking this could be Maurice this could be Maurice pretending to be a woman to, you know, hide. Oh, I'm not Maurice Evans. I'm not a musician. I'm just a, a washer lady. But like I said, Maurice never got his pocket watch back. Maurice traded it to Willard Wright. This has to be his mum. They had matching pocket watches. I mean, if they've killed her kid, then... You know, it makes sense that she'd knock up here being like, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep watch of the roads. Mm -hmm. Hello. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Oh. The gem's missing. It's, it's all wonky. What is this? A slightly dented saber. Yet he's trying to... He's trying to see if he can do the, the de-aging, aging thing on the... Yeah, look, it's wonky. It's wonky. What? Also, why do you have it? Why do you have this, Alistair? Because La Lazarus wouldn't part from it. He absolutely would not part from his source of power. Oh, hello. A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. A slightly dented saber with some blood on it. Okay, so there's... There's our first body. Here's the thing, with, with the map being this big, this has to be multiple mysteries. It can't just be one dead body over here, but yet we have all this stuff. No, this is... I'd, I'd wager there being at least two. At the very least. Belchester Castle, Blackfields, Crow Towers, Woodshires. And then this way leads to the port. And this way leads to the castle. Aight. Oh, hello. Yeah. Two-wheeled contraption. Bicycle. A newly invented transportation device. Okay. Oh, member of the cult. Oh, I recognise that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. An empty musket. Damn you, you cunning devil. Ah! You will find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. An empty... Two empty pistols. Here's the thing. We, we know someone who tends to carry around two pistols. Straw, straw men. Straw men. Scarecrow in a wood coffin. Straw men are your bane. He's only got one pistol here. However, I swear down we've seen him with multiple. Yeah, he, he's been shot, but he's not dead yet. So we're still looking for our other victim here. This is going on, but... Oh, the bullet went through. Oh, that's... It ain't looking good for you, mate. A scarecrow with a hole through its head. A bullet lodged in the wall. A white pigeon. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I will come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation. So this is all... This is all relating 
to the letter in Lazarus's cabin. Dark hand, second level. One second, one second. You took 32 things from me. How many years? How many years did Walter Keane have? 32. Back up. So yeah, this is this is Walter Keane. This is Walter Keane getting revenge in essence. However, this isn't Lazarus. This is David Goran. David Goran was the one who got tricked by the scarecrow. Also, are these a loaded pistol? An empty pistol. Okay, so yeah. So Lazarus sent David in his stead. He sent the letter saying, oh yeah, I, I may have treated you unjustly. I'll come alone. They were set to meet at the Mermaid Inn, though. So some, something happens at the Mermaid Inn, and it results in David Goren being sent here. David Goren shoots the Scarecrow, and Walter Keane, poor Walter Keane, because it's looking like the Golden Idol is broken, so he won't be able to get his years back. He's hiding in the brushes like, oh yeah, I'm going to shoot the bastard. Where is Lazarus in all of this? Where is he? Okay, oh, hello. Oh God, this, this, this is Sebastian's house. God, the first mystery. This is making me so nostalgic. A pile of mangled and burned corpses. An empty cannon, like, and a carriage. Interesting. Okay. Shit! Hello! Worry not and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. Peter Batley makes a return! An almost empty whiskey flask, and he's pissed. A horse racing betting slip, and he's still a gambler. A small sword, okay. Dear husband, you are so brave, and you've been drinking since early this morning. But what will we do now? What if the evil government men find us? Okay. She's into him. Oh my god. Mary. I did not think she would be into him, but I've been proven wrong. She liked his drawings. She's got a harp. She's got a diary. Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me. Edmund Cloudsley, 1788. This is, yeah, I was going to say this is May 15th, 1795. So this is, oh, I just looked, yeah. Okay, so this, this is back when Lazarus was openly Edmund. This is before he de-aged himself. And here we have the confirmation Edmund and Lazarus are one and the same because Edmund should be long dead. So how is he sending this? It's because he's Lazarus. So he sent her this poem, which she kept. To be fair, she must have liked it. God, this is... Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me. Why not do that for herself? Why would she not want to become a pure flower for herself? Why does she have to do it for you, Edmund? Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to colonies. While you, I will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife. Edmund, 1795, March 15th. She doesn't want to bang you. Sir, she doesn't want to bang you. Put your dick away. For the love of God. She kept the picture. She kept the picture. Oh my God. She liked it. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Batley, 1788, March 5th. 
And then, Mary, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley died in some robbery, and I am rich! Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry! Peter, 1788, December 10th. Yeah. This is still very much like me, 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 I, 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 self, self, self. However, there does seem to be like a, oh, your father wouldn't let me marry you because I was poor and a gambler, but now I've inherited all of my uncle's wealth. There does seem to be a prior relationship there. So it's not like saying, hey, we haven't spoken, but I want to marry you. I would, from how this is written, I would assume they had talked about marriage, but her father had said, no, absolutely not. Oh my God. Peter, I... I still think he's a bit of a prick, but I mean, if, if Mary likes him, if she likes him, then okay. Is it hello? Oh, a heavy seal. This is, um, this is James Turner's seal because he's the director of the 70s trading company. I have some small but pressing business to attend at the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous Proudby steward. I will be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned, Lazarus. No. No, I... This is Sebastian's house. Lazarus was coming here, yet yeah, this is the carriage. A pile of mangled and burned corpses. We know that Lazarus was coming here. The letter on the horse says so. Surely this can't... The indication, the implication, is that Lazarus is one of these dead bodies, but I mean... For all of that to... He, he just got blasted by a cannon? I... I don't know whether that's satisfying or unsatisfying. It's real stupid. And Lazarus, who was this... So smug, you know, superior. I'm intellectually and morally superior to everyone. Could Mary possibly love this dunce? No, she clearly wants to bang me, even though she's never said that. But, you know, women, women don't have wants and desires of their own. No, it all revolves around me. He was, he was such a superior, smug little toe rag. If he got blasted by a cannon, that would be like, that is the stupidest way to die. And I'm like, I could go for that. But I, d I, I don't know. I don't know. I, we're going to leave this. We're gonna leave this. I just want to check that it was James Turner who was the um, the leader of the Seven Seas Trading Company. Okay, no, he doesn't have his stamp here. Um, I know he did here. I think. Yeah, yeah, it was James Turner. And we can see that Alistair. Alistair is dicking about. Alistair's dicking about with the idol. We have a body here, and the horse is all the way over here. I mean, it... It could have ran? I... Hmm... I mean, of the two dead bodies we have, they didn't go with a horse, they went with the, the carriage, and looking at it, I'm pretty sure these carriages are like, um, steam powered, or I, I don't think they use horses. Where was it? Someone had a, like, oh, I'm watching the roads, here's what's been going on. Yeah, two people go by on horses. The carriage was at eight. And David Goran, who is currently dying, went by on a bicycle. So I... 
Yeah, I, I would assume that something happened here and the horse is just pissed off. Um, now we also have you. A missing cannon! <laughs> okay. And A, hey, the little mermaid. All those order rats sneaking around here, this is no good. I hope they'll just blackmail me and bugger off. A large kitchen knife, a partially peeled lemon, and a ring of various keys. Oh yeah, they can't have music. Another familiar face. This was the, um, this was the poisoner. This was the, it was... Lucia was the cock Ada. This was Ada. Do you think they will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. A hand of cards. A small, simple key. EC, an embroidered handkerchief. A dagger. I have instructed him to arrive at around half eleven. Most likely he will be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. Yeah, Ada was contracted by the Brotherhood. Th this all relates to Walter Keen trying to get back at Lazarus for stealing his 32 years. So this, I guess it must have been Walter who contracted her out all those years ago. So... Here's the thing. Thinking about it, we have no evidence that Lazarus came here. Yes, his handkerchief is here, but there's no evidence that he was the one who gave her the handkerchief. I think... Lazarus has a tendency of sending David Goran to do his dirty work. So Lazarus, Lazarus was going to be blackmailed by Walter because Walter knew that he was originally Edmund. I don't think anyone else knows that. I don't think they know just how he came into, you know, he came into possession of the idol and this, that, and the other. So Walter was saying, hey, I'm going to let everyone know who you really are if you don't give me my 32 years back. Lazarus is like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. Fuck it, I'm not dealing with this. David, you go deal with my shit. So Lazarus heads to the manor. He, he said he had business at Sebastian's old house, so he goes to the manor. I'm gonna leave that plot, that plot point there. David, he arrives, he hands her the handkerchief, she hands him the note saying, hey, go to where we first met. He goes, he shoots the scarecrow, and... Then Walter shoots him in the back. I th I think with that plot thread, I think I'm good there. Then we have whatever is going down with Alistair and James. And to be fair, Mary and Peter. Because I, I can't imagine they would be here just because like, oh, it, it's a nice little reference. They're major characters. Like, putting in Maurice's mum, that's a nice little reference. Mary and Peter are major characters because Edmund has this massive crush on Mary. And she does not reciprocate it. And it's become an obsession to him. The fact that after all of these years, he's still like, she totally wants to bang me. She totally wants to bang me. She doesn't have a thing for my nephew. She couldn't possibly love the dolt. I... They have to be here for a reason. They have to be. Oh, hello. May 14th. Again, uh, a very good day. Uh, 1795, May 14th. Dandelion room. Ada Baker, two nights. Forget-me-not room. Walter Nort, two nights. I, I think that's Walter Keane. Ada Baker, she's using her real name because I... I think she's like, oh, no one will know, but he's using a, a different surname. But I heard rumours you lost a cannon while gambling. I mean, there is that cannon up at the manor. A hand of cards, three Albion francs, 
a stiletto blade. And yet these, these two are still here. It's John and Annie. Nonsense, I'm not an idiot. But real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. A hand of cards, two Albion Franks, a small sword. Okay, is that... Yeah, I think... I think that's everything, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, three. So I, I guess David Goran does count. We have... The three bodies I found are this guy. The burned corpses. And David Goran dying over here. I... And there is no sign of Lazarus, and we know that Lazarus was coming here. I... Him being shot with a cannon would be satisfying in such a hilarious way. You, pl you plotted, you planned, you schemed, and you couldn't defeat a cannon. I would... I would love that. I would love that. Okay, so we have early in the morning. Blank, blank, went to blank, to blank, 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 because blank, blank, wanted to blank the blank, blank. There's only, there's only been uh, one group who had two parties. That's um, Alistair and James. And I believe it was before noon. Yeah, before noon. Okay. So yeah, let's let's try and fill this one in first. So before noon, Alistair Cock and James Turner went out to try and find. Lazarus, where, Lazarus, Hust. Instead they found the golden idol. Yeah. So they, they found the golden idol. It's all ding, it's all dinged up because it got hit with a- it got hit with a cannonball. I- I- I think- I think he did. I think Lazarus got murdered by a cannonball. But who? That's the question. They- they would have had to find it at the manor. It's all dinged up, so- they must have reached the manor, found the destruction, seen the, the idol, and then on the way back, they started to fight over it. They both wanted it, and Alistair Cock, being the military man, he won that fight. Okay, there we go. There we go. Get back. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is the thing that is just currently happening. Um... I, I think this is, in the afternoon, David Goran went to the cabin to kill, where's Walter, where's what, Walter Keen, because Walter Keen had tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst to get back his lost years. I think this, so early in the morning, yeah, I'm, the only person we haven't seen here is Lazarus Hust, and we have a dead body that is unidentifiable. 
That has to be him. He got killed by a cannon. Oh, all of your magics. All of your magics take a cannon to the face. Oh, that is beautiful. Early in the morning, Lazarus Hust went to the manor. That's the thing, though. Why did he go to the manor? I'm looking at the, the gold options we have. The thing that jumps out to me is ideal wife. That is so... It's such an odd combination. Yeah, I know where you've been hiding. This was um, two months, two months before the current date. Today is May 15th. Dear husband, you are so brave and you've been drinking since early this morning, but what will we do now? An almost empty whiskey flask. How, d how did... You lost a cannon while gambling. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but is this going where I think this is going? Peter Batley, king of the chads, got totally drunk wheeled a cannon into the manor and said come at me you bastards and he shot his uncle in the face with a cannon is this going i mean l golden idol lost years those don't make any sense those don't make any sense for, you know, things that Lazarus slash Edmund would, Edmund would want. He wouldn't want a dead body. He wants, he wants an ideal wife. What reason would he possibly have for going here? What reason? I think he thought that Mary was gonna be here, so he rocked up and Peter Batley says she is still too young for you. Put your dick away. Put it away. Yeah, I think. Early in the morning, Lazarus Hurst went to the manor to kidnap uh, Mary. She's married him, so she'd be Batley. Mary Batley because Laz no, no, no. Lazarus Hurst wanted to have the ideal wife. And here's the thing, if it's relating to Mary, if it's relating to Mary, it, it was Peter! It was Peter, King of the Chads! Early in the morning, um, Second, where are you? There we go. Early in the morning, Peter Batley killed Lazarus Hust at the manor. Before noon, um... Alistair Cock killed James Turner. He's at the crossroads. Yeah, at the crossroads. And in the afternoon, Walter Keane killed David Goran at the cabin. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Look surprised. That face just like, ha She doesn't want to bang you. She's banging me. Give me some money, uncle. Oh, Peter. Peter. 
Before storming the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudsley's old manor in order to kidnap his long lost love, Mary Batley Me Richards, who was hiding there with her husband, Peter Batley. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled the scene with Mary. I salute you. I salute you, Peter. Thank- Oh, thank you for making the game. Hey, weren't you with the order party? Oh, no, no. I was never part of that ghastly organization. We, oui, I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You can have three sous for it and call yourself lucky. So, oh my... There's Maurice. Oh, I... Maybe that was Maurice cross-dressing. Maybe it wasn't his mother. Maybe he was just using that as a disguise. And Nicholas may could just be like, no, I'm gonna get drunk. And then... I don't know who this is. I don't, I don't know if that's Alistair or not, but... I, the thing that caused all this trouble, this magical artifact is being sold for three sous. Love it. Love it. That's right. Down with virtues. Drink. Oh, I salute you, lads. Oh, hello. We have an epilogue, the grand vision of a better world. I... Oh, flipping heck, we're, ju we're just being given the words. I... Witness the power of the idol in my hands and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hust. We will build the ideal society. Yep, so he's... He's doing something with life. I can't remember if that's take or... I... I believe when the idol was blue, that means it needed to be put out. Um, he, he looks kind of old here, so I think he's... Oh, no, wait. Okay, there we go. So he's changing himself. He was old, but he's becoming young. Yeah, okay, okay. The Brotherhood of Masks. Only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. What, like yourself, you mean? The rich and noble have a social club with mystical rituals and other hogwash and are so stupid that they did not realize when they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. Walter Keane has told me more about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth and they are truly devoted to their religious entity of Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. Order Party Manifesto. One, all citizens are equal. Are they bollocks? They weren't equal in your ideal society. I mean, you got plus points for being, you know, high ranking members of the order. That isn't equal. Two, all citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. Three, citizens must be evalu evaluated according to how virtuous they are. Four, a society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Therefore, it must be led by the most virtuous citizens. The king should step down, the aristocracy must be abolished. Five, 
The more virtuous citizens are better able to serve society. Therefore, virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth, and bad citizens deserve to lose time. And of course, you're going to view yourself as the most virtuous of all. This is unbelievable. My pure Mary is joined in matrimony with that clown, Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. No, she just doesn't want to touch your penis. She doesn't want to bang you. For the love of God, she's into chads like Peter Batley, not incel virgins like Edmund Cloudsley. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void, you piece of shit. She will come to me once she learns I still live. No, she won't. And f But for now, my duties in the service of humanity take precedence. Oh, you self-righteous asshole. Society must be built on the principles of virtue. Only thus can it become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire on the banks of the Seven Seas. Their ancient technology continues to baffle modern science, but they became inert and decadent and forgot how to build and operate their machines. Their empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure-seeking, not virtue. It is by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I will use its powers to set humanity on the right path by building the ideal state. So the Lemurians were the ones who created the Golden Idol. Aye. Thank you for answering that. Yeah, yeah, look at him. He's old and now he's young and everyone's like, everyone's like, yep, we're on board. Which I'm like, what? what is this hand movement? What is this hand movement? Are you going for a group high five, but you don't want to touch each other? Like, are you gonna, and then bring them up? Like, what? what is this? I swear it. Yes, with these powers, I will do whatever is necessary to build a better world. Okay, yeah. So this is the Ludenburg, I think, chapter. Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Masks. And then, yep, James Turner, Angus McBain, and Alistair Cock are the masters of each house. Walter Keane, Jeffrey Sinclair, and Sebastian Cloudsley, deceased, were the stewards. And then Chester Davy, Nicholas Maker, Willard Wright were the initiates. So Chester Davy must be the guy that um they tied up. They tied up an initiate so that David could take his robes. That must be him. I like that that detail of okay, who was the guy they um they you know hog tied? I I like that we're getting that answered. He's lo he looks so startled. I mean, he's just seen a man become young. So fair. Yes, my lord. I swear my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. David, I thank you for dealing with all the challenges relating to my death and for keeping an eye on our new ally. I do feel I have impressed him not only with the Golden Idol, but also with my vision of the ideal society. Come to our hideout on November 24th. We are ready for the next step. EC. He I don't think he was impressed with your ideal society at all. He was just like, oh my god, the man can make himself young. Holy shit. God, your head was so far up your own ass. Flipping heck. Hello. Oh, the man is not breathing. So that's... He aged him. That's where he got the years from. Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. Half empty bottle of gin. So he... He stole the life of a beggar. And he used that to make himself young. Okay. Um. Well. Sebastian Cloudsley left the idol to the brotherhood in his will but then it would be but then where are you david but then david goran posing as ash blair on edmund cloudsley's orders stole the idol and accidentally stabbed willard right yeah that was an accidental death the Brotherhood tasked, I'm not seeing Ada's name, so it would be tasked Walter Keane to punish 
Edmund Cloudsley and recover the idol, but his attempts were fruitless. During one attempt, I think that would be during one attempt, Walter Keane was captured and Edmund Cloudsley convinced him to join his side. Edmund Cloudsley used the idol to make himself young and infiltrated the Brotherhood under the new identity of Lazarus Hust. He then claimed to be Griffin Reborn and transformed the Brotherhood into the Order Party. Brotherhood Masters uh, James Turner and Alistair Cock helped that would be helped Lazarus Hurst seize power in the country and enforce the rule of virtues by taking youth away from common people and giving it to the order party members right before the final showdown with the uncooperative king Lazarus Hust wanted to kidnap Mary Batley but was shot by Peter Batley the big dick energy having Chad and the where is it and the idol was broken. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you for making this. This was fabulous. This, oh my god. I don't think I've enjoyed a game this much since I let's play Return of the Oberdin. I absolutely loved that game. And it, it filled such a unique niche. I had never played a game similarly to it. And afterwards, I was left so badly wanting. I was left so wanting. And this has... They claimed it was a spiritual success. And I absolutely agree with that. I think this game was phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Absolutely loved it. I hope they make more. I hope they make more games like this. Because I, I think it's a genre that doesn't get enough attention. I would love to see a bunch of games in this genre i oh 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for the studio this was fantastic and fortunately we are not saying goodbye to the series yet because we still have the dlc we still have the spider of lanka i oh i'm so excited I'm so excited to get into this. I think I think this is the best game I've played all year. So far, this has been my favourite game. And to be perfectly honest, I would not be surprised if it wasn't my game of 2023. I think this was phenomenal. I think that um, Colour Grey should pat themselves on the back. They have created something fantastic here. You know, big, big round of applause. Big round of applause to the pair of them. I'm not going to attempt to say, they na say their names because I, I would butcher them, but they should be so proud of themselves because they they set out to create a spiritual successor to Return of the Oberdin, and they, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. I had such a wonderful time playing this. However, I think I'm going to bring this episode to a close right here in the next one we get started on the dlc where will that take us but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated i've been callista thanks for watching and see you in the next episode